Hey guys! So today I'm going to be doing my quarantine haul. Um, I ordered a bunch of stuff from different websites and it all came it all came in the same like couple days. So I was really ecstatic about that. Um, I went to bring my camera out here to film because there's nowhere in my room that's great. I don't like filming on my bed I realized. Um, so I think I'm just gonna do it in the hall um, as well as bringing my light out and my light literally hit my head so hard. So my head hurts. Like, that wasn't fun. Um, okay, so the first thing I got was this shirt from Amazon. And it's just a t-shirt. I thought it was going to be a softer material, but this is more of like um, your everyday t-shirt. Like a little bit rougher. Um, and then it says always. So I absolutely love this. It's so comfy. It's so cute. And it fits me. I'm glad I got a large. I just think that it's going to shrink in the dryer. So I'm going to try not to dry it. So I have stuff from Hot Topic, um, Tom's, the shoes. Alta Sephora and Adore Me. Now I'm going to start with Adore Me. I'm not, um, I'm not being paid to do this. Um, I do get stuff from them once in a while and I did get stuff from them this time. Um, I have worked with them for probably, I want to say almost exactly a year now. Um, I've been doing this probably, yeah, I would say almost exactly, I think May is a year. So I've gotten quite a bit of stuff from them and only I think two to three, maybe, maybe three, two tops didn't fit me. And I think like three of the bottoms didn't. Um, it's harder sometimes with pajama sets because the bottoms I'm like a large and or a medium and then the tops I'm an extra large. So pajamas it's, it's hard. Um, so the first thing that I got in this Adore Me is this blanket. I love it. Um, yeah this is it was spend a certain amount and you got a blanket so yay. So I got um, the thing that I got was I got a sleep set and then a bra and panty set and what's what's really nice is with the bras you always get a matching pair of underwear which is awesome um, and you get to pick your underwear size so that's really fun so the one that I got this time is this one I love this this is absolutely gorgeous I have never found bras that like actually fit me other than like Lane Bryan and those are stupid expensive Adore Me always has um, always always has like coupons and great deals going on. I think right now it's like buy one get one free and this is just so pretty they they fit me so so well I absolutely love them um, I even have a bathing suit from them so the one that was it was on my Instagram I deleted it since um, I have that one that fits amazing and the matching underwear for this is super super cute now you usually can pick an option of whether you want something that's got a full back or whether you want a thong. I don't like those, they're not comfortable for me, so I always pick ones that have a full back. And this is so cute and they match the underwear, so that's all, or they match the bra. I don't ever like try to pick out matching sets when I'm getting ready, so, or like I'm getting dressed or something, I never pick out the matching sets, so I'll have like a black bra with like red or green underwear, like it won't even match. Or I'll do it by blue bra with like green underwear. I, I do it all the time and I'm like, no one's gonna see this but me. Um, and then the other thing that I got is this matching pair of, or this matching, this pajama set. And this is, I bought the large because of bottoms. I didn't want them to be too big and they're not adjustable. So these are the bottoms and I wear shorts all year round. Like to the point that my mom is always like, oh my God, you're making me so cold looking at you. Like, I don't care. I wear shorts all year round, um, in the house. So these were super cute. They have a pink and a black set. Um, I honestly kind of want the pink set now. So they're super, super comfortable. Um, I don't like that there is a tag. I will be cutting that off. But these are so freaking cute. Oh my God. And then the top looks a little small, but I think it's to sleep in. So I guess it really doesn't matter. It just looks short, but I guess that's how it's supposed to be. Um, so this is the top. But it's very, very cute. It's got the black lace detailing on the side. So that's what I got this month. I do get stuff monthly from them. Um, like I said, it's been probably about a year now since I've been doing it. I love it so much. <laughs> um, on to my next thing. I have never in my life owned a pair of Toms before. And I saw the ones that I wanted, and you guys saw them on Instagram if you already follow. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen them. Um, I wore them for the first time the other day. God, my head hurts. <laughs> um, I saw them on like an ad on Facebook, and I was like, oh, I need those. I was like, yeah. I need those. I've never owned Toms before, but I think I need to splurge. So they're the Toms Marvel, and I absolutely am addicted. If you haven't seen them, these are the cutest things ever. These are the Marvel comic 
toms. They are wicked cute. And the size is very true to size for me. I, I'm normally a size 8, so I got an 8. It fits perfectly, and they're so comfortable. Oh my god. And they're not like Vans where the Vans, um, because I bought a pair of, pair of Vans when I was in Hawaii, and they really, like, they gave me really bad, um, like, blisters. These don't give me blisters. Um, oh my god, they're so fun. Hulk cannot give up. The Panther follows. Yay, Iron Man, who is the Spider-Man. Um, and it's just, it's all different comics and stuff, but they're just so stinking pretty, and they were so me, and I, like, they just scream me like I just I absolutely love it they definitely just scream me and then I am going to go through the shirts I got at Hot Topic because I did get a bunch of shirts at Hot Topic one I've already worn when Disney did that sing-along night the other night um I wore this and there's dog hair all over it so I'm gonna have to you know use a lint roller on this so ignore the dog hairs but it fits so perfectly. I was so worried about buying shirts online like this and everything because I never know if I'm a large or an extra large. Depends how what the material is of the shirt. Um, so I'm just happy that everything I got fit. Um, so this is so cute. It's a Beauty and the Beast one. And then on the back, right down the middle, is the stained glass window. I thought it was so pretty. I loved it. And they had such a good sale when I was doing this. So, And then the next top I got is from Nightmare Before Christmas, and it's a Sally shirt. There's, it's, it's just plain black on the back, but oh my god, this is so cute! Um, if we ever get a summer, I, you know, wear these to theme parks and stuff like that, um, and like on vacations and road trips, because I don't have a lot of summer clothes, I have a lot of work clothes, but I don't have a lot of like summer shirts anymore, um, just because a lot of them don't fit me anymore, so I just thought getting a couple, one, couple of them from Hot Topic would be cute. And this one I don't think comes from a movie specifically, but it is gorgeous. And this says, for the moon it never beams without bringing me dreams. This one is the only one that was a tiny bit big. Um, this is so cute. What size is this one? They, I, I got all of these in an extra, the tank tops in an extra large. And then the back has like the star mesh detailing. I love this one. This is the only one that might be a tad bit big, but I will make it work. I don't care. And then I think that's the last, yeah. So then the next shirt I got is a large. And the only reason I got a large is because the last time I got a, an extra large, it really stretched. So I figured, get a large, it'll stretch a little bit, it'll be okay. And this is a Harry Potter one, and it says, The Brothers. I am obsessed with this. Like, I was going to buy this in a large and an extra large, and then just give my cousin whatever one didn't fit me. But they only had an extra large. I am obsessed. This is so pretty and it's going to look so cute with black shorts. Like I think this is going to look really cute with black shorts too. Um, my favorite pair of, my, I have, t I bought two of the same pair of shorts because they're my absolute favorite. Um, they're these pair of black shorts from Target. They were literally $12 and I wore them like the entire time I was in Hawaii. So I bought shirts that <laughs> would match black shorts. And then the last shirt that I got from Hot Topic was this one, and it's a really cute tie in the front. And I find that these look really good on me because they kind of like hide my stomach area. And this is a Harry Potter one, and it's got hats, wands, a crystal ball, and like magic around it. So it's got that, and it's a tank top. I love it. It's so cute. I'm so excited about this one. I love it. And again, it's going to look cute with black shorts. So those are all my shirts that I got, including this one from Amazon. And now I'm going to go into what I got at Sephora. So I ordered stuff from Sephora. Um, I know they have their sale going on right now, and I guess I didn't realize their sale was coming up because I don't ever, ever shop at Sephora. The last time I did was like 2017. Um, and I still had a gift card from forever ago for Christmas because I just don't. I shop at Ulta. Um, and the, if you guys watched my, I don't know, I did a video already on these. I did almost like an Instagram first impression review of them. They are, and I already posted them on Instagram. So I guess if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen most of this. Um, these are the three pastel palettes from Huda Beauty. And I have to say my favorite one is probably the purple. Um, so this is the Lilacs Pastel. Now, the one thing I have to say about these is 
I really love the other Huda Obsessions palettes like the Topaz and Coral and stuff and I have two of those and I use them. I used them the whole time I was in Hawaii. They were beautiful colors and um, the glitters are so beautiful. These glitters are pure glitter. They're pure sparkle. They don't have color. So that sucks because this one is like that, um, like these, they're so pretty. They don't have any pigmentation. They're very, they're just very sparkly. Like all it is is like a glitter topper and they just bleed all over the place and I don't think they're the best quality. But I do like the mattes that are in here, especially like these three purples are stunning and I don't have any other palettes like it. So this one was definitely a win for me to buy. This pastel rose, um, it's okay. I mainly got it because I wanted the yellow color and I only have one other yellow and that's in my other Huda palette. Not as good as the one in the other one. You really have to use your fingers with these. You can use the brush to do your crease, but if you're doing anything on the lid, you pretty much have to use your fingers for any of these colors. And that goes for all three palettes. So I, I don't know, I might do a whole video on these. And I, I just don't know. And this one, didn't understand. I was very excited for this because I don't have anything like this. Like, I mean, I don't have any colors like this. And I was really excited because this sparkly, like, tiger-looking one and this one, those are so pretty. And I was like, these are going to be so pretty together. Isn't the point of a palette like this to kind of blend the colors together? Let me tell you. Mixing mint with these browns, you look like you have a black eye. I'm sorry, you look like you got a black eye. You look like you got punched in the face. So I did my makeup and I was like, okay, I went downstairs. I was going to go do something. And my mom's like, <laughs> what'd you do to your face? And I was like, oh, yeah, I don't have time to take it off. Um, I don't know if I was going to a doctor's appointment or whatever I was doing, but I was like, I don't have time to take it off. Um, I know I look like I got punched in the face. And she's like, yeah, you do. So I don't recommend these. Um, if you love the Huda palettes, stick with the normal obsessions. I just don't think they put the thought and the love into these that went with their other palettes. Um, so that sucks. And then I got this and I've been, I've used it a couple times already. This is the Bare Minerals Blemish Rescue Skin Clearing Anti-Redness Mattifying Primer. So I don't have acne all over my face. I just get it occasionally and on my forehead, occasionally right here in this one spot. But I've been getting little teeny tiny cystic like acne around my chin lately. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I'm home more so I'm sitting like this. It, that's probably it to be honest. I'm constantly, you know, sitting like this watching stuff, laying like this watching stuff because, you know, we're quarantined. Um, so I grabbed this, just the skin clearing one, and I only use it on my chin. And it comes out green, so it actually does take away the redness and it does help my makeup sit a little bit better on my chin. And it doesn't look too drying because wherever I have acne, it looks super dry. So I'm just glad it doesn't look like that. So and then the next thing I got, I've had it before and I missed having it and I wanted it again, um, is the Tasha Silk Canvas. This is the small size because, I'm sorry, I'm not paying $54 for a full size of this again. Um, so I love the smell of it. It just smells so, it almost smells like, do you guys remember the healing, I think it was called the Healing Garden? And it had like a rabbit, that lotion stuff. This is exactly what it smells like. I'm pretty sure my grandma used to use it. Like my dad's mom, she used to use it. They, I think it's called the Healing Garden. It was from, I don't know, that the store closed in my mall, but uh, I don't know what it's called, but I'm pretty sure it smells exactly like it. Um, I wanted to compare this to the Elf Putty, so, and I haven't found the Elf Putty yet, um, and I don't want to do another Ulta order yet, so when I find the Elf Putty, I'm going to compare the two. This was my big splurge on myself because my brother got me this, got me the bigger one for my birthday a couple years ago. I used the whole thing and I don't know if you guys remember it being in my aunties video or whatever, but I loved it and I bought the small version um, because they don't, they only come out with this like during the holiday. So I was really impressed they came out with it right now um, and I haven't used it yet. It's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and oh, it just looks so luxurious. That was literally like the big six pan was like the most expensive makeup thing I've ever owned. Um, but this one just has the three and I'm really excited because I think this one is going to be a really good under eye powder. That's a beautiful highlighter and that's going to be a beautiful highlighter slash like bronzer. Um, and it has dim light, incandescent and um, incandescent light and radiant light. So those are so stinking pretty. 
and it's in a beautiful case so you can't go wrong with that last but not least i have my ulta products and i'm very excited to share these because the first one the first two you the first two things you guys have actually seen um already and that would be the Too faced born this way the nudes palette this is the complexion inspired eyeshadow palette and i didn't realize that so it goes from my tone snow all the way to beautiful <laughs> so i am like as white as white can be and then it just goes like down the down that down the skin tone um but it's so pretty it's beautiful and i love having a neutral palette because i don't have a super like i don't, I don't have a neutral palette that if i want something simple i can go in with it um like today i'm using it and it's just beautiful a couple colors and you know it just it works i love it um and it's small and sleek packaging and then I ended up actually getting for myself this acne mask, which I've been looking at for years. And it's the Ahava Mineral Mud Clearing Facial Mask. And I love it because it's got little bursting beads in it. It's actually almost, I feel like, identical to this, the Pure City Block from uh, Clinique. Only that one is more of an exfoliating scrub. This one treats acne a little bit more. That one is more of um, like a blackhead scrub this is more for treatment so i really like it and i used it on my chin twice already um it leaves like a really nice cooling effect and it only takes about 10 minutes to dry so i can do this pretty quickly i don't have it doesn't take like an hour like the other stuff does and then the next thing i got was this so i bought the entire kit of benefit brow products over christmas time and the full size everything it was a great deal I think it was like $59 and it was it was so great um and the one thing they didn't have that the last time I got my brows done was they had this brow bravo I can never say this bravo conditioning primer and so this helps you get fuller and healthier looking brows I don't really have a huge problem because my brows are very thick and they're growing in terribly like please ignore that um and my hair is really dead on the ends like I can't wait for the world to reopen um but this was really really nice and i liked it and i just figured i'd get it um because i'm trying to do my brows myself and keep them plucked and if i do over pluck this will be a good way to like condition them and she said even if you just use it as a primer before you do them apparently it like helps keep them in place better so and i like the way it felt when she put them on me when she used this on me so i think i will give this a shot myself um, I did really want it and I'm happy that Ulta had it. This is a product that I got from Ulta that I don't know if I'm going to use or just save and display because I have a problem. It's a tangle teaser. It's a Hello Kitty tangle teaser. Um, it's so freaking cute. I don't want to use it. It's beautiful. Um, I got this for, it was like 16 bucks, but I got it for 10. Um, it's so pretty. Like it's so pretty. There's like a backing to it. And you can like, you just see how pretty it is. And then it just says, hello kitty. I don't know if I want to use it. Like, I don't think I want to because it's just so pretty. And I like the packaging. It's like English, um, which I'm pretty sure is where the Tangle Teaser started was in England, but I could be wrong on that. Um, but yeah, I, I love this and I'm excited. I'm going to put it in my, like, underneath my bed in my bucket that I have for like when I move out. The next thing I got is because I wanted to try and see if I could find an SPF foundation that I really really liked and this is the new Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Makeup. Um, I think I want to do a first impression using some of this stuff so definitely definitely going to be using this. This is a moisturizing makeup in SPF 45. That's a really good SPF for a foundation um this is in one and oh porcelain normally i go with like one c1 um so i don't know if this is going to be too dark for me um it looks a little dark in the packaging but i don't know we're going to try it out so i'm excited to try that um stay tuned for a video or instagram video on that now i have wanted to try the bare minerals bounce and blush or bounce and blur blushes when I went to Ulta and I tested them, I know it's because the testers were bad and with bouncy clay blushes like that, you can't really get a feel, but it really rubbed me the wrong way and it just looked dirty and it turned me off of those. And I know they're some people's favorites. 
but I got turned off of it. So I decided to go with the MAC ones. This is the new Glow Play blush. I have like already been playing with this. Like I haven't tried it out, but I'm like, mom, feel this blush. And I'm like, oh my God. And then my stepdad's like, I want to feel it. And it's like, okay, now the whole world's touched my blush. So now it's probably gross. Um, and this is in the color Cheer Up. And you can already see how many, like, how much we've already touched it. It's so bad. Um, but this is so pretty. It's so bouncy. And I just, it really does remind me of the Dream Bouncy Blush, but with way more pigmentation. Um, so I'll be sure to use this up. The only thing that I was, so I was explaining to my mom how on back of products, they, it says like 12 months, 24M, 38M. This doesn't have that. So I don't know how long these are good for. I'm assuming until the clay kind of like is gross. I don't know. Um, and then the last thing that is not nail polish is I really wanted to try this and I don't think I like it. So I was swatching it on FaceTime with one of my friends and um, they were like, you don't like that, do you? And I was like, no, I don't think, I don't think. And this is the Benefit Boing concealer. I used to love the one in the pot where you like dip your finger in. It, it wasn't a flat pot. It was like a liquid pot and or yeah, you dip a brush in and put it underneath and um, it wasn't like a pressed cream either. It was like a liquid cream. This was like a really long time ago. But this is called the Cakeless Concealer and this is the one that looks like a pencil. My phone's going off. Um, this is the one that looks like a pencil and it's so pretty, so freaking cute. I think it's gonna be too drying for me because when I put it on my hand, I mean, granted, I put a lot on my hand. It was like, it sunk into every fine line in my hand. Granted, my hand's not moisturized, my hand's not primed, my hand doesn't have foundation on it. Like, it, th there are factors that go into it. So I can't judge it by not trying it on my face when it's like, you know, moisturized and primed and everything. But on my hand, it sunk into everything. So I hope that's not the case when I put it on my face. Obviously, you guys know I work in jewelry. Um, I work retail, The you know, I've always worked retail forever. Um, so I never have actual natural nails. I've always had acrylics, I've always had dip, like I've always, always had acrylics on. Um, because when you're opening boxes, you're opening, you know, you're working with clothes and hangers and then even in the jewelry business, you're constantly like cleaning and scrubbing and the ultrasonic water is like breaking your nails and you're, you're just always breaking stuff. I've never had <laughs> natural nails before and my nails are very long. They're the longest they've been in probably about 10 years. Now to some people this is like that's really short. I've never been able to see the white part of my nails. Like my nails growing enough to see white. So I finally decided I was going to take care of them and I've been filing them and making sure they don't break because I'm babying my nails right now. So I bought a bunch of colors. <laughs> the first thing I got was a top to bottom base coat and top coat from Orly. Um, I've always been interested in Orly colors, but because I get them, you know, done professionally, why bother? Why pay the money for that? So I decided to do it. Um, Cause the last time I bought nail polish was before I moved into my apartment, which was like five years ago. So this is a top to bottom coat. Um, I like it. I think that, so I got all the colors that I got. Um, I'm pretty sure yeah so all the colors that I got you need a top coat and a base coat except for one color and that is this one this is the Orly breathable treatment and color so this supposedly already has base coat color and top coat um I don't believe that <laughs> so I use this as my base coat and my middle color but I'll still use that as a top coat um I'm throwing shit here this one is called Chest Breathe, and it's a super, super pretty, like, eastery lilac color. I'm sorry, my light is, like, gonna make these weird. The next one I got is a really neon purple, and it, like, you can compare the two. This, it almost comes up pink, but it's, like, a, it's very much a purple. And this is, like, a neon purple, and this is in Scenic Root, so I love it. I feel like this one might be my next color. I don't know. It's very, very pretty. And then um, the color that you've seen me wear on Instagram before, I, I just can't get over this color. I have been staring at this Orly color for years. Every time I see it, I go, I need that. But what are you going to paint? What are you going to use it on? Like, you can't. And this one is in Vintage. It's just so bright. Like, you cannot 
this camera is not doing this shit justice. Like it's really, really, truly not. And then the next color I got is going to be so pretty on my toes. It is like a neon coral. And this is in Afterglow. Oh my god, it's such a neon. I love it. And then I got a color for if we end up going back to work anytime soon. I can't wear bright colors on my nails, so none of those I can get away with. So I got a muted color. And this is marvelous. So even if I do go back to work and my nails break, I can put this on my toes. Don't care, I'll put it on my toes. Um, super, super pretty. And my mom can use this one too because this is like the most muted color I got because I'm not allowed to wear bright colors on my eyes, lips, cheeks, or nails. They have got to be super natural and my hair can't be a crazy color either. So that is all that I got. I love this haul. I hope you guys did too. Um, I will catch you guys in my next video.